Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am Daniel Chi back again. Today I'll be treating on the topic uh, that says mistakes girls do, both in relationship, also marriage. Yeah, first of all, girls, 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 listen carefully. When you are in a relationship with a guy or a guy walks up to you and tells you he loves you, don't be in a hurry to just jump into him, you know. Try to get information about him. Ask questions. Try to know his character, his temperament, you know, his shortcomings. And also sometimes, I know some girls go to an extent of finding out his former girlfriends to hear the part of the other story because these guys will say, oh, the girl was cheating on me. She lied a lot. But when you go find out from the past girlfriends he have, then you discover that he was the one cheating rather. So that's why I say, get information, try to run checks on him, investigate him, you know. And also, girls, mistakes girls do again is uh, when they go just in a week of knowing this guy, they just go into having sex with him. Such is not good. You're in a hurry. Come on, this guy, after having this sex with you, one week, two weeks, three weeks, in a month, he has already had sex with you like four or five times. I think such guy will never take such a girl serious because he will feel that this uh, this girl is a loose girl. So at the point, he will just like start misbehaving. Then you discover that when you now call him on phone, he's no longer picking your calls like before. He keeps giving excuses, I'm busy, shouting at you. Why are you calling me? I'm busy. Can't you see? You now discover that even in a week, he has not even called you, not even a flash, not even a message. Why? Because you made yourself so cheap for him. Yeah, so please, girls, be careful. Don't be in a hurry to have sex. Try to stay at least six months, eight months, you know, without having sex with him. I think in this case, he's going to appreciate you. He's going to know. Also, girls... Um, also try to tell your guy if you're in, in a relationship or in a marriage or before getting married I think it's good for a girl to tell a guy about her past relationships what happened what did not happen so this helps because if you don't tell him and he finds out in the future maybe um, somebody who knows you tells him hey this girl I know her she did this she did that abortion uh, she had a baby, you know, so this guy could be like, so you lied to me. You never told me. Oh, come on. I can't trust you anymore. So such thing can destroy a relationship, even can destroy a marriage because this guy will lose trust on you. So try, girls, to tell your guy what kind of life you lived in the past. If he loves you, good. He will go on with you. If he doesn't like it like that, then <laughs> he moves on and you move on. Remember, for me, I used to say there's one for everyone. So if it's not meant for you, it's not meant for you. The one who is meant for you will be for you. So don't even be afraid of telling your partner the truth about you. Also, girls, mistakes girls do. Also, it's um, you going to visit your guy with your girlfriend. Haha, <laughs> a lot of girls do this mistake. Uh, remember, when visiting your guy, you take your girlfriend, maybe two, three of them, or a particular one, going to visit this guy. And if this guy is somehow a nice guy, handsome guy, you know, has good qualities, this your girlfriend could be having interest in him. Also, it could be him having interest in your girlfriend because remember, he has known you, he's used to you. So you're bringing this fresh girl who he's not used to. Before you know it, he starts picking interest in her. Before you know it, he tries a way to get her number visit her or invite her when you are not aware or around so don't try it when you're going to visit your guy go alone go alone if already you're in a relationship please go alone but if you're not in a relationship with him yet um i don't know but in a relationship don't go with your girlfriends to visit your guy it's not good in most cases you will lose that guy to your girlfriends. Yeah. So also, girls do these other mistakes. Like, um, um, they are used to making calls, like talking about their, like uh, when they are making call, their boyfriend calls them. They are like answering the call, um, talking nice things, like um, 
wow baby you're gonna buy me a phone baby you're gonna buy me these baby oh are you taking me out tomorrow around your girlfriends then you think all these girls listening to your conversation they're happy with you remember you may just drop your phone and one of them who is like wow this guy she's talking with could be a rich guy wow I would like to just take her num the number of this guy. So you may drop your phone, go into the bathroom to take a shower. Before you know it, one of them um, opens the phone and uh, maybe takes the number. And you know, before you know it, he's calling your guy up. So girls, lock your phones, put password, or better still, if you can memorize your guy's number, memorize it and always delete. If you don't trust your friends, you can do this as a safety measure to keep your guy to yourself. Girls, don't be in a hurry. Ask your guy about his HIV status. Run a test to know if he's free from HIV. Um, because some guys don't talk about this. Don't tell their girls the truth, even when they are dating. So before you know it, you could get infected. So please, this is very important. Also, girls, mistake girls, girls do like gossiping about their guy to their friends. You know, their girlfriends. Telling him how rich he is, how lovely he is, how sweet he is, how romantic he is. Come on, remember, if those girls, their own boyfriends are not like yours, they will start desiring to know your guy. You know, even when your guy comes around to see you, you know the way they talk with sexy voice, hello, hello, just to get attention because you have already talked more about this Mr. Perfect guy, you know, who they will all wish to have. You know, so please don't gossip your guy. Don't talk much about your guy. Don't let much information out from you to your girlfriends. Come on. And also, when you're in a relationship, girls, please don't talk about um, the shortcomings of this guy to your girlfriends. Like talking about how he beats you, how he insults you to them. Because um, you don't know what kind of advice they will give to you. I think this is a personal thing, you know not your friends friends you know could deceive you giving you wrong information wrong advice come on maybe you can go to a counselor you know talk to a counselor who will give you the right advice you know how to go on with it because you don't trust your friends your friends may kind of tell you the wrong thing you know because you're not professional um in a professional counselor so please look at a counselor who will give you advice on how to manage the situation at home if you're already married for me if you're in an abusive um, relationship I advise you leave come on what are you doing with a guy who beats you every day who insults you who don't treat you nice you know there's no future remember if you marry such a guy who insults you beats you don't treat you nice I think the same thing he will do also in marriage so some girls say I love him I love him, I know he beats me, insults me, he don't take care of me, he don't buy me things, he don't even touch me. Come on. If he doesn't do these things in relationship, I tell you, also in your marriage, he will not do these things. You know, so they say a broken relationship, um, it's better to have a broken relationship than a broken marriage. So please break up that relationship. I think the right guy who will respect you and treat you nice will come around. Come on, girls. And some girls also, the mistake they do is that um, they compare, like, accept your man for who he is. Come on. Don't always compare your guy with the other girl's guy, you know, his boyfriend, her boyfriend, I mean. Uh, like you say, come on. Uh, my, my, my girlfriend, her boyfriend buys her these, buys her iPhone these, uh, nice things, perfume, gold chain, necklace, ring, you know, come on. That guy is, he is original, he's like, um, he's different from your guy. He's not the same with your guy. Accept your guy for who he is. Maybe that guy is richer than your guy, so he can afford it. So you never can tell. Your guy one day will be richer also, so he can also afford it. And don't always accuse a guy telling him, look at you, look at the other guy. The other day he bought his uh, her girlfriend a diamond a chain, a golden ring, blah, blah, blah. You know, this makes him feel like he's worthless. Don't make your guy feel worthless. Appreciate him for the little he gives to you. Appreciate it. Come on, make your guy your own king. 
you know, don't compare, don't look outside because by the time you start comparing your guy with other guys, you feel maybe you have the worst kind of relationship, you know. So please try to appreciate your guy for the little he gives to you. Uh, don't compare, please. Don't compare your guy with other guys or your girlfriend's boyfriends. Come on. Because you are there comparing somebody else somewhere also we say wow look at this girl her guy is nice I, I i wish i was the one so you are wishing for somebody else um, um boyfriend somebody else is wishing that your own boyfriend would have um, could have been hers you know she's wishing for it so please appreciate your guy love him for who he is one day he will be richer if he's not rich but if he's rich will be more richer come on stick to your guy don't look outside if you really love him also i talk about another mistake which is um girls always try to tell your guys what you want so that he will know because sometimes guys don't really know what girls need you know so try to tell him baby i need an iphone six seven eight nine try to let him know because if you don't tell him you might get to a samsung so please Make your intentions known to him. What he can afford, fine. If he can't afford it, he let you know. So ask for what you want, okay? According to his income. Ask what you want according to his income, what he earns, his money. If you know he earns like 100,000, don't ask for things of 500,000, okay? So please take note, girls. Also, girls, um, I think um, girls should um, be careful, okay? Don't um, always um, uh, get angry at your guy, you know? Shouting at him, um, insulting your guy, you know? Come on, don't do that. Even when your guy is shouting at you, like trying to correct you, raising his voice at you, uh, the best is to keep quiet. Just, just, just keep quiet, you know? You know, don't talk back at him. This makes him feel like, yeah, he's a king, so he's going to respect you more. Okay, girls? So, this is my advice to girls. Always love your guy and never compare your guy with another guy's, another girl's boyfriend, okay? So, I'm out. Subscribe to my video, like my video, and please, I need your comment and and uh, click the bell, you know, for more notification as I drop my videos. Come on. See you next time. Bye. I'm